Welcome to Thoughts and Ideas with Abdullah Samir. Episode 4, Climate Change. For today's thoughts and ideas, I want to talk about something that's very close to my heart, which is this pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan called it. This little planet that we have in the middle of a vast sea of dead space, of emptiness, is we have this little, this little bubble that we live on. This beautiful planet, the only planet that we have. Will we one day get to Mars and live on a different planet? Will we be able to terraform another planet and make it just like the Earth? Maybe, maybe not. But what we do know for sure is this is the one planet that we have. So we have to take care of it. We have to leave it for our children, for the next generation, leave it in a better state than how we got it. As difficult as that is, Like, we need to do this. We need to put in an effort. And so what's the issue? The issue is mass extinction of wild animals, rising sea levels, certain certain, um, foods are going to become more rare and more expensive. And I'm going to talk about all that. Um, To start, let let me just read a quote from Yuval Harari, the author of the book Sapiens. He says, If you look at all the people in the world and put them on a large set of scales, their combined mass would be about 300 million tons. And if you took all of our domestic farm animals, cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens, and placed them on an even larger set of scales, their mass would amount to about 700 million tons. So so 300 million tons for all of the people, 700 million tons for all of the livestock. And then check this out, the combined mass of all surviving land wild animals, porcupines to penguins to elephants to whales, less than a hundred million tons. So pretty much we, we pretty much got rid of them from the planet, right? Our children's books, our iconography and our TV screens are full of giraffes, wolves and chimpanzees. But the real world has very few of them left. There's only about 80,000 giraffes in the world compared to 1.5 billion cattle. 200,000 wolves compared to 400 million domesticated dogs. 50 million penguins compared to 50 billion chickens. 250,000 chimpanzees, less than a million, in contrast to billions of humans. Humankind really has taken over the world, right? The other thing that's happening is the rising sea levels. So the sun melts the polar ice caps, the the ice, and ice has a natural effect of bouncing back the heat of the sun because ice, it, it reflects, whereas water, it absorbs the heat. So what happens is as, as more and more ice melts, there's more water and the water absorbs even more heat, creating a snowball effect, causing the temperature to keep going higher and higher and higher, right? In Bill Nye Saves the World, episode one, the earth is a hot mess, which is on Netflix. I encourage you to check it out. Much of this is described there. He even shows you how in Venice, in Italy, there's bookstore owners um, and there's different restaurant owners and stuff that, that are actually impacted by the rising sea levels. For example, this one bookstore owner, he has bathtubs in his bookstore and he puts his books inside the bathtubs because when the water level rises, it goes inside the store, right? So it's actually impacting people, right? Um, Bangkok's government published a report that that the city could be under the water in the next 15 years. Like this is is like serious stuff, right? And um, not only that, like, it's not just Bangkok, there's other, there's other cities, other islands. Anyone that's close to sea level or below sea level has a problem. Luckily, technology can help. So, so the Danish government, the Netherlands built a billion dollar seawall. So, so they put a lot of money into it. So their problem is parts of the, the, the land is below sea level, which is even worse, right? So anytime that the water levels rise, and it, it causes flooding, right? So they, they, the plan to solve this was a revolutionary dam that, that incorporated removable gates that are hollow and had the ability to float. So it, you know, they built a giant dam. But not all countries are so lucky. Okay? So in Bangladesh, there's a Bangladeshi island uh, called Kutubdia, which has been swallowed by rising seas. 
leaving countless families with nothing. New York Times talks, reports on um, this story and they talk about Nurul Haq, a farmer who lost all of his land to the ocean. And he, and he, told, he told the reporter that he may have to actually get his, his daughter, Muni, uh, out, of, out of, she's 13 years old, out of eighth grade in order to get her married to an older man who probably is looking for a second or third wife. So not even an ideal, not even an ideal situation, child marriage to a man that already has multiple wives. So it's just like basically just someone to take care of her, right? Because he can't afford anyone. He has no way of making money because his land is gone and has been swallowed by the ocean. So this is the poor parts of the world. This is what's happening to them, right? Another, another issue is my the most important issue to me, coffee. I love coffee. Coffee is also under risk because it's very sensitive to rises in temperature. So uh, one or two degrees can actually make the best type of coffee, Arabica coffee, like harder to grow. So what's the solution going to be? It's, it might end up being some sort of GMO, some sort of, you know, some way of become, making it resistant to the increased temperature, if it's possible, if you can figure out a way to do that. Again, technology and science might help us, but it's definitely, it's definitely going to increase the costs of coffee and it's going to make it much more difficult, right? Uh, according to the National Academy of, Academy of Science, in Latin America alone, more than 90% of the land used for coffee production could suffer this fate. It's estimated that Ethiopia, the sixth largest producer in the world, could lose over 60% of its coffee production by 2050. That's insane. Think of all of the farmers, all of the, all of the people whose livelihood will be affected by, this, by, by climate change, right? So, what can we do? Like I've been going on about this is bad and this is bad and this is happening, but what can we do about it, right? Like are, are we powerless? Are we, just, are we just sitting ducks that we're just gonna sit there and everything's gonna happen to us and we can't do anything about it? No, there's something we can do about it. Well, what can we do? First thing, first recommendation is eat less meat. Now, I'm not saying go vegan. I'm not saying you have to give up all your meat and eggs and dairy and everything, but eat less meat, right? According to Scientific American, meat production, beef, chicken, and pork, emits more atmospheric greenhouse gases than do all forms of global transportation or industrial processes. Only energy production generates more greenhouse gases than does raising livestock for food. So our meat consumption is not sustainable. In, in, the, in the more developed part of, parts of the world, we eat so much meat that if the rest of the world ate as much meat as we did, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be sustainable. Like it's just not possible, right? So we have to cut back, right? And meat uses a lot of, like, like, the, like I just said, uses a lot of resources, uses a lot of water. For every one pound of beef or chicken, it takes an equivalent, I don't know, like 10, 20 pounds of grain, right? It's just like a massive quantity of food that could be used to feed people. A vegetarian diet compared to a meat diet doesn't feed as many people. And yes, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying we should become vegan. There's there's arguments for and against that. I'm just saying like let's 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 eat less meat, less meat. That's something we can all do, for sure, right? Uh, another thing, stop using water bottles. Water bottles take 700 years plastic to decompose. 86% uh, of them end up in a landfill. 15 to 17 million barrels of oil are used just to make these bottles that we use them and we just dump them. Most of them don't end up recycled. Even the ones that end up in the recycling plants, they are overwhelmed, right? They're overwhelmed with, with uh, plastic water bottles, right? So if, what, what can we do? Get a water filter, get a water cooler with those big reusable jugs. Uh, get a filter for your house, right? You don't have to, you know, throw, just get one use bottles and throw them in garbage. Um, reusable, like other things as well, right? Like for example, the little coffee sticks that they have at Starbucks. Um, one person on Quora calculated that just one, <laughs> just that wooden stick that we use, right? For in just the US, just at Starbucks, he calculated it comes to 1800 trees every year cut down now imagine like how much like how much energy is going into um 
Like you take it just for you to have that stick where you just throw in the garbage just once, just to use it once. So it's not, it's definitely not, there's no need to cut down 1800 trees every year. And I'm, I'm sure the plastic ones are even worse because they don't even, they don't even biodegrade. They just sit there, right? So, so whatever you can do in your life, whether it's getting solar panels for your house, whether it's consuming less, keeping your phone for longer, not throwing it out, um, you know, reusing, recycling, passing down things, you know, eating less meat, like this, there's things we can all do in our personal lives, right? It's easy to blame, you know, industri industry and it's easy to blame someone else. And, but like, what, what can we do, you know? We can look at using LED bulbs. We can look at using, you know, however you can, you can make a change. If it's getting a hybrid car that pollutes less, right? To reduce the climate change. Um, getting an electric car that can be charged overnight when, when the, you know, the energy consumption is low. Right? Whatever it is you can do for yourself, right? um, do, do that. Thanks for watching and um, let's, 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 let's all do our part for a better world. Thanks. Bye.